Hey everyone, welcome to Elite Code Weekly Contest 302. Um, let's go. Hopefully you don't get rate limited. Last time I got rate limited, like, all the problems. Come on, Elite Code, load please. Thank you. I need to number to this right now. Okay, right to miss.
tip. Uh, what? Does it does this not work? Why does this not work? Oh, pest string. Okay, so that's that's it. It's under ten minutes, which is a good. Uh, at least it's it's not terrible. I don't think I won because that with the Q three was very slow, but I think I, I I did decent. I did decently. Okay. Okay, let's just go through the solutions of the problems then. Um, basically, in this question, we'll just greedily form as many pairs as we can. For example, if we have five elements, which if we have three elements, which is two, the best we can do is form one pair out of them. In general, if we have like X elements, which are, which are all equal, if we have X elements, then we can form X, or X on two pairs. So the, there's a couple of ways to do it. The way I've done it is 
I'm finding the leftovers. So if the number of times an element occurs is odd, that will give us one leftover element and the other ones can be paired up. So if I, su if I take, um, this is like a frequency hash map. It basically tells me for each element how many times it occurs in this array. And if I take all of those frequencies and I count the number of odd ones, that's basically what this is doing, counting the number of odd ones, that will tell me the number of leftovers. If I have the number of leftovers, then I can work out the number of pairs just by sub by taking the remaining elements and dividing that by two. That's just one way of implementing this. For example, if, if I did this, then this would now be the number of pairs. And I, I could return like, like th that would work as well, probably. Yeah, it would work. Okay. This question, um, it's pretty easy. Basically, for for each possible we for each uh, yeah for each possible sum, we will just um, get the elements which have that sum. So if, all I'm doing first is I am taking a dictionary, and then this will return the sum of digits, and I'm simply grouping um, the elements by the sum of digits. Then for each group which has the same sum of digits, I will simply just take the largest two elements and update our max. Okay, that's pretty easy. This question is brute force. I did it in C++ just to be safe. Um, Yeah, I, I, I probably could have used nth element as well. Like, I, I'm not sure if this works. I've forgotten how to use nth element, but. Yeah, man. okay, I don't really remember. But anyway, it's pretty simple. It's just for, literally for each query, I will take each element of nums and I will literally just strip it to the last p1 characters and its index, sort them, take the relevant index which I want and output which index that corresponds to. This, I don't, I don't know why this is here. This is just straight brute force. It's good enough because it's like 100 times, 100 times, 100 times, like log 100, that's, that's fine. Finally, this question is just stupid. Like, I don't know, it was stupid easy. So the condition that the smallest elements nums divides all the elements, that is equivalent to saying that, that the current element divides the GCD. So if I just calculate the GCD, if I let G be the GCD of nums divide, then all I need to do is make sure that the smallest element of nums divides G. In order to do this, um, we notice that we would only ever, if, if we were to sort nums, we would only ever delete like the smallest element of nums. There's no point of deleting big elements until we've deleted small elements, since we since the condition only refers to the smallest element. So literally all we do is we sort it, and then once we've found a possible smallest element, then we will return i, because i will be the number of elements before this element, i.e. the number of elements we need to delete. For example, if g equals like, I don't know, g equals 9, and then we have 2, 2, 3, 3, 4. Uh, we can't have a 2 as the smallest element, we can't have a 2, but we can have a 3. So once we get to the 3, then we're done, and all we need to do is delete these two, and we're done. That's it. If we haven't found anything, we'll return negative 1, and I don't know, this is like the most trivial, I, I don't know. This is, this is, it's not a good problem. Okay, so I haven't quite updated. It looks like it got rank seven, which is, honestly, it's not great, but I guess my rating will increase, so I can't really complain. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.